right, let's move into this Monday night football. Ooh. Earlier in the podcast, we talked about the Kansas City Chiefs. They're back at Arrowhead Stadium. This has got to be a get-right game for Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. Ten-point favorites against Danny Dimes and the New York football giants. Fresh off a big win against Sam Darnold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stumped a mud hole in the in the <laughs> I feel like that's not going to happen in this game, though, right? Like, you, Sam Darnold, Patrick Mahomes, two different quarterbacks. You could say what you you know, say what you want about Patrick Mahomes. I get that he's leading the league in the interceptions right now, tied with the league lead in interceptions. Okay, not a lot of things are going his way. Cool, we get it. We could make the jokes. At the end of the day, he's still Patrick Mahomes. I'm still going to take the Chiefs here. I'm going to take the Giants to cover this this 10-point spread. I think that's a ton of points in an NFL football game, especially for the Chiefs that are looking to rebound. But on the money line, as we do these picks, I got to take the Chiefs. I don't think the Giants could win this football game. I just don't think the Chiefs could win by 10. I'm taking the Chiefs and the money line because... And the spread? The 10? Offensively, what is New York going to do? Whatever they did last week, they found a way to win. <laughs> Even though the Chiefs can't stop some senior citizens on, on, on offense right now, but what the like the uh, the Giants? All the receivers hurt. Saquon's hurt. Saquon hurt. Like, yeah, I'm gonna take the Chiefs and Chiefs three and four. They can't go three and five. No. They can't go three and five. Three and five right now, you're looking at a wild card. If that. If that, yeah. In that, in that division, if that. Yeah, three and five, you could be looking towards the draft. So it, it's it's a must-win game for Kansas City. I definitely think they'll win. I think this 10 is it's just big. I, I lean on the side of caution always when I see these big spreads. And even though it's been done, like like freaking Arizona last week was a 16-and-a-half-point favorite against the Texans, and the Texans had the lead. Mm. And then Arizona still covered. So it's, it's crazy with these big spreads, but it makes me nervous. I'm going to take Kansas City, though. Thank you.